This is Katherine Langner reporting outside Bryant-Denny Stadium. This Saturday, the Crimson Tide will play host to 0-2 North Texas for its second home game of the season. The team comes into the week healthy and ready to defeat the rushing attack of the Mean Green led by running back Lance Dunbar. Head coach Nick Saban emphasized the importance of playing to the standards of Alabama football regardless of the opponent. Everybody that we play, Penn State can run the ball. All right, so we have to prepare the same way technically for them as we do for this team. It's different, all right, but it's the same. The Tide defense, which ranks first statistically in the SEC, works every day to continue to develop team chemistry both on and off the field. Junior defensive end Jesse Williams spoke on Wednesday on how the players have learned to draw motivation from each other's play. You know, we have a lot of people that just really want to go out there and hit a lot of people, and uh, we have a really aggressive and physical defense, and I think, you know, we feed off each other. Um, like they said back there, you know, once we see other people hit hard, and, you know, we want to go out there and compete, and we want to hit people harder than they did. So I think we just kind of build off each other, and I think that's how it really works. Also at Wednesday's press conference, Coach Saban addressed the new trend of uniform change that has become popular amongst college teams across the nation. In spite of this trend, the Crimson Tide has chosen to embrace tradition over football's latest fad. I, I, I'm a traditionalist, okay? I, I don't think that, uh, I think there's a brand, uh, there's, a, there's an expectation of what people expect to see when Alabama plays football. Uh, that's all over the country. That, that's a brand that has, you know, sort of been developed for how many years? You know, definitely since Coach Bryant's been here, um, and all the years past that. So, just for some marketing whim, um, I, I'm not really into that. I don't think it's my decision. It's somebody else at the university's decision to make those kind of decisions. Uh, I don't think the coach should change uniforms. I don't think the coach should change the color of the helmets. I just don't. I, I just that's not. I just don't believe that. Uh, it doesn't mean it's wrong when somebody does it or they think they should do it or <coughs> whatever. But I, I think what we wear is a lot bigger than me and a lot bigger than anyone. It's what everybody's expectation is and what they want to see when Alabama plays football and what they used to see. Finally, no new word has been given on the eligibility of junior college transfer Jerron Carter. However, the Tides receiving corps will receive a boost as senior Darius Hanks returns after sitting out the first two games of the season. Be sure to catch his return and the Crimson Tide this Saturday at 6.30 p.m. in Bryant-Denny Stadium. This has been Katherine Langner reporting for the Crimson White. Roll Tide!